Right, so balding scalps are actually thinner and harder than scalps with healthy hair. So a 2021 study out of Japan compared men with various stages of AGA to non-balding men. And on average, the scalp of balding men was 5.9 millimeters thick compared to 7.8 millimeters in, in the control, right? So this is a pretty big 25% difference. It's not something subtle that we're talking about here. This is, this is a really meaningful difference to the scalp, right? And you can see those different layers that we talked about, the epidermis and the dermis, and then the hypodermis. So the total scalp thickness um, in the AGA group, 5.9, and in the normal group, 7.8. And you can see that they measured it in the exact same place every time. So really, really interesting. And you can see some of the quotes from these studies, right? The thickness of the hypodermis and the entire scalp was significantly thinner in the AGA group than in the control group, right? In conclusion, the study demonstrated that the thickness of the whole scalp and hypodermis is lesser and that the depth of the hair follicle is shallower in the AGA group compared to that of the normal group. And again, the depth of the hair follicle in the AGA group was significantly shallower than that of the normal group. The AGA group showed reduced thickness of the entire scalp. So, you know, in reality, you don't really need a study to tell you this. You can go, you know, if you've got a friend who's bald, you can go and look at their scalp and prod it and tell that the scalp's just thinner, basically. And what they also found was androgenetic alopecia is associated with increased scalp hardness, right? So thinner and harder. Remember that because it's really important. So in conclusion, there was a pattern distribution of scalp hardness. The occurrence and severity of AGA was positively correlated with scalp hardness in men. And what's really interesting is if you look on this graph, right, you have um, AGA grade zero. So that's basically no hair loss, then a grade two to four, and then grade five to seven. So what you can see is these points, MF2 and MV are here. MF2, if you can see my mouse, hopefully, MF2 and MV. And these are basically the points, you know, where most men get hair loss, kind of on the top and on the crown. Whereas at the back, um, there's basically no difference. So the biggest difference in hardness is in those exact areas where men get hair loss. And obviously it's saying that the men with hair loss had thinner scalps. So again, like I said before, you don't really need a study to tell you this, right? You can just go and look at someone who has, who has been bald for a while and you'll see that their scalp is just thinner and harder. And this is really, really important if you want to understand hair loss. You need to understand what's going on with the hair follicle and what's going on with the scalp. So keep in mind that this delicate organ, this miniature organ with the three distinct layers, what's going to happen when, that, when these layers get thinner and harder, right? So I've linked the main presentation down below. So if you want to go and watch the entire presentation, which is an absolute must, then you can go and click over to that and go and watch it.